In a major step toward enhancing long-range strike capability, the Indian Air Force has issued a request for proposal for six converted mid-air refueling aircraft, with the Israeli Aerospace Industries HAL team emerging as early favorites. The tender, part of a 12-tanker induction plan, targets cost-effective conversions backed by 30% indigenization. With aging IL-78 struggling and operational demands rising, the program promises improved endurance for fighters like the Su-30 MKI, Rafaeli, and Tejas, while building a more self-reliant refueling ecosystem. India's Defense Robotics Leap Forward as Berov Robotics unveils the Vrishub Combat All-Terrain Vehicle, a rugged AI-driven unmanned platform built for combat, ISR, casualty evacuation, and frontline logistics. With a 500 kg payload, hybrid silent mobility, advanced sensors, and a Euro-stabilized turret, Vrishub becomes even deadlier when paired with the Rakshak Autonomous Weapon Station. Made with 85% indigenous components, and priced under rupees 5 crore. This next-gen battlefield asset is set for trials in 2026. India is gearing up to shield Delhi NCR with a fully indigenous multi-layered integrated air defense weapon system powered by QRSAM, SHORADS and advanced sensors. The multi-layered shield countermissiles, drones and fast jets. The plan gained urgency after Pakistan's attempted strike during Operation Sindor, prompting India to drop the high-cost, National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System 2 deal. With DRDO leading command and control integration, the new system will strengthen national security and complement India's expanding S-400 and long-range SAM capabilities. In Bengaluru, a startup is pushing the boundaries of aviation with Infini, a drone designed to stay airborne for over a year by riding ocean winds like an albatross. Early tests show hours of engine off flight, and the Indian Navy is already eyeing its potential for round-the-clock coastal surveillance at a fraction of current costs. Ultralight, disposable, and satellite-linked, Infini could transform maritime security, though major challenges in durability and certification still lie ahead. In Pithoragar, India and Nepal concluded Exercise Surya Kiran 19 with a powerful validation of joint counterterrorism operations. Using ISR drones, AI-enabled surveillance, precision targeting systems and secure communications, both armies demonstrated seamless interoperability and coordinated mission execution across challenging terrain. Intelligence-based surgical drills and rapid response tactics took center stage. The DGMOs praised the exercise for strengthening regional security and planted a symbolic tree of friendship, reaffirming the enduring military bond between the two nations. In a major push for self-reliance, DRDO's Technology Development Fund has approved a new project to develop high-strength, high-gas barrier polyethylene film for defense and aerospace use. Led by an Indian MSME consortium, the initiative targets the material currently imported from the U.S. and Europe, with demanding standards from extreme temperature endurance to ultra-low gas transmission. The indigenous film will support aerostats, high-altitude platforms and sensitive military systems, eliminating long-standing supply chain dependence. Amid crippling supply disruptions from Ukraine, Russia has revived its offer to equip Indian Navy warships with the advanced M90F or marine gas turbines, and this time, it includes full local production in India. The move promises to restore readiness across Tawar class and other Russian origin vessels, nearly 40% of which face reduced availability. With 25% higher efficiency 27,000 shop thrust and deep technology transfer, Moscow's proposal could decisively reshape India's naval propulsion future. After the MERSAM's stellar performance in Operation Sindor, India and Israel are moving to upgrade the system with advanced sensors, improved radars, and full network-centric integration. The enhanced MRSAM will plug seamlessly into India's air defense grid under Project Kusha, enabling longer-range detection and engagement using external radar cues. 
With better processing multi-target capability and resilience against saturation attacks, the upgraded MRSAM is set to become a central pillar of India's future air defense shield. India, France and the UAE are set to launch a high-intensity air combat exercise over the Arabian Sea, strengthening trilateral defense cooperation in the Indo-Pacific. The Indian Air Force is deploying Sukhoi 30 MKIs, Jaguars, Illinois 78 refuelers, and AWNC aircraft, while France and the UAE field Rafale and Mirage fighters from Al Dafra. The drill focuses on advanced maneuvers, maritime strike profiles, and seamless joint operations. India has issued a notum for an area just 200 nautical miles from Karachi, highlighting the strategic significance of the location. This comes after last year's successful Desert Night trilateral exercise. In a major leap for India's fighter modernization, HAL is preparing to hand over the first seven Tejas MK-1A jets to the Indian Air Force ahead of schedule. With G delivering the fifth F-404 engine, production is now running at full throttle. Air-to-air -air weapon trials, including Astra MK-1, Osram and Derby ER, are fully cleared, while the last air-to-ground tests are on track for mid-January 2026 certification. Once cleared, jets LA-5001-5007 will fly to NAL Air Base, making No. 18 Squadron the world's first fully operational Tejas MK-1A unit. India's next-generation LCAF MK-2 takes a decisive leap toward its maiden flight. The Aeronautical Development Agency has issued a crucial tender to refine the fighter's aerodynamic and propulsion modeling, forming the backbone of its first flight test campaign. The package includes creating full aerodynamic and propulsion datasets, developing performance prediction models, preparing pilot-ready charts, and coordinating early flight test activities. Once airborne, real flight data will further refine these models for accurate envelope expansion. With its powerful GEF-414 engine and upgraded airframe, the MK-2 is now firmly entering the pre-flight validation phase. That's all for now. Hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.